Hey people, a drunk monkey here, and today I want to show you how to mod with a USB flash drive. Okay, first you're gonna go all the way to your system settings. Click on it, click A. Go down to memory, right here, memory. Click it. Okay, here you're gonna put in your flash drive. Hey, one second. It's gonna load. Give it a second. Um, it didn't load. Okay, back out. Click memory again. Here it is, right here. My USB modder. For you, you're gonna have to configure it first. If you, if you're new to modding, if you didn't configure it yet, we'll do that. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to mod your gamer tag. Okay, so first you're gonna take your hard drive. Go to hard drive. You go to gamer profiles. Go down to your main profile. See, I've already modded mine a couple times. I drunk monkey X. Okay, you're gonna move it. It's gonna sign me off Xbox Live. Okay, move it to your USB. It'll only take a couple seconds. Okay, and we're done here, so I'm gonna meet you on the computer. Okay, I'm back, and I'm on the computer. So first, you're gonna plug in your flash drive into your computer. Like so. Give it a second to load. Whatever will pop up for your flash drive. Mine gives me all these messages, so just close out of them. Okay. First, you're going to need to open up USB Explorer. Yours might be called something else, but it's the same program. It'll look like this. All the programs you need will be in the description of the video. Click File. Open Device. Content. And you're going to find your name. A lot of them are already here. Yours will probably be the first one because you haven't modded it. Okay, so, um, you gotta find your profile. These are usually games. Your profile will probably be this one, FFF, or at least it is for me. Click on it. Click on this. Click on this. Well, actually, no, don't click on that. That is your profile. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract it. Then extract it to your desktop because it's easiest. Do not change the name. You have to keep the name the same or it will not work. It's okay, just click save. I already have it on my desktop, so I'm going to say yes, replace it. Okay, minimize this. We're going to use it later. Here is our file. I'm going to put it over here just because I like my file over there. Okay, next, we're going to open up Mario. I'm not sure if this, if this, pro of this phase is necessary, but I do it anyway just to be totally sure. Give Mario takes a second to load, and we're gonna need Mario later anyway, so just don't close out. Okay, let me just sign in real quick. You don't need to sign in, but I like to. You might need to update your Mario. I'm not sure, but you can do that. Okay, drag your profile into Mario. Okay, it's in there already. Just click rehash and resign one or two times, something like that. Close out of it. Minimize Mario. Okay, open up Easy GT 2.2 or whatever you have. It's Easy GT. It'll look like this. Okay. Next, you're gonna hit the person thingy. Open. Find your name. Go to your desktop. Make sure you're on desktop. And find your your profile. Um, it is right here for me. There it is. The drunk monkey X. Okay. What you can do is you can just delete it. And put whatever what you whatever you want. You can type anything in, anything. And it has to be 15 characters long. It, it can be less, but it cannot be any more. For the demonstration, I'm just gonna be it B A B Y L R L R L R over and over again. Okay. Once you're done typing everything in, you go to options. Here, you can just choose whatever you want. For you, for you, if it's your first modded gamer tag, I would suggest keep it at zero, and then on each other one, move it up one. I'm all the way down at A. Okay. Actually, no. Actually, no. I'm down at B. What you're gonna do after you do that? You go here, and you click Save. You gotta choose where you want to save it to. You probably want to save it just to your desktop, but I have a folder made just for my modded gamer tags right here. So I'm gonna click OK, save it. It's been saved. You can close out of here. Now open up your Mario again open and then you have to drag in your file well you have to open up the folder and drag it in so I'm good my mod of gamer tags I think this is the folder yep right here click on it click on it click on it and then drag this file in 
you can close that up there. Okay. Here's my file. Nothing comes up right here just because like it's some crazy <coughs> sorry, letters. And all you have to do here is you click rehash and resign a couple times. You only have to do it once. I do a couple times just to make sure it works. Okay, after you've done that, close out. Um, you can close out a my video, but I'm going to keep it minimized. Okay, then open up your USB Explorer again. Then go to File, Open Device, Content, and then right here, you're going to open up your file again. But you don't have to open it up. You just have to click and drag it in. And it's in. Okay, next, I'm going to see you at the Xbox. Okay, I'm back on the Xbox. Okay, first thing you gotta do is go back over to your system settings, go to memory, and plug in your flash drive. One second. Okay, my flash drive is plugged in. Let's load. Give it a second. Okay, there it is. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it. Gamer profiles, corrupted file, and you're going to move it back over. It, it's, it might not become corrupted for you, but this is just my gamer tag. It just says corrupted. It's not really. It just says because it was changed a little bit. That's all. Okay, then you're going to find your file. It's probably going to be one of these. I don't remember which one it is. I have a lot on here. So it's probably just going to be the this one. Okay, I'm going to move this one also over to my hard drive. Um, by the way, oh no. Sorry, it was the wrong file. It was this one then. Okay, move that to my hard drive. Oh, and by the way, the corrupted file is your actually your real file, your main account. Okay, you can get it out of here. You can unplug your flash drive if you want. You don't need to. Okay, now for the most important part. This is getting the gamer tag to actually change to the modded one. Okay, go to Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 4 or Call of Duty 5. I'm not sure about any any, any other games that work, but I'm sure these ones work because I've tried it. Let it load. Let it load. Okay, you can skip this. Get a multiplayer. Choose hard drives if, it's, if it asks you that. I didn't unplug my flash drive yet. Okay. Make sure you're signed into Xbox with your normal account like I am. Go to Xbox Live. Click your Xbox Guide button. Sign out. Then sign back in with a modded profile. It has to be the modded one. This is the, my modded, my new modded one right here. Okay, so if you have a passcode, put it in, it'll be on the modded one too. Okay, here, you have to press the Xbox Guide button, nothing else. Okay, you'll click it and that might pop up, if not, okay, click A, A, A. Then sign into your normal account, my a Drunk Monkey X. Okay, let it load. Click Xbox Live. And here you are. For you, it might have to load for a while. I was already signed into this account before, because I kind of like messed up making the video before. But um, I, I as you see, I probably went, I was in a Tempest lobby. And see ya. Um, I also want. I'm gonna make another video sooner or later about how to how to mod game saves for like Spec Ops campaign, Nazi zombies, and all that other good stuff.